Hey, what is going on, guys? V Boy Gamer to the T here, and bringing you another episode of a career mode series. Obviously, with Leeds United. And first of all, guys, we are going to go into the transfer market and try and get a pacey centre back. And uh, one person that put that put it in the comment section, I believe, and uh, I'll maybe put it on screen. And uh, that is Alm Back. And um, I was going to try and get him for quite a bit of money. Uh, for 625k and uh, he has 80 pace i mean 82 pace that is unbelievable right there so very very good pace and uh but the most important thing is now we go into the game against manchester city and of course against man city it's always going to be a tough game as they are challenging for the title and they have the likes of vukic up front they have the likes of aguero and they are just almost invincible and they also have David Silva as well and they still have Yaya Turi surprisingly and they started off up on the upper hand in this game especially in the first 20 minutes they were completing the whole game and that's returning the Peltier there puts the ball in and uh, David Silva gets very lucky there he missed the header in the first place and then manages to get the ball back uh, very luckily but straight away we started to come back in a 20th minute here Wood gets on the ball runs has a quick run but just missing the target there and uh, then in the 31st minute we were starting to take total control of the game Senny then gets the ball to Wood then Wood runs into some space it turns completely and uh, yet again Man City just clear the lines luckily and uh, then Chalaba, who's been absolutely fantastic recently, and his potential rating is going up. But Wright Phillips causing problems, Yop, the former Man City player. But Hart makes a very, very good save and uh, running out at him there. And it was 1 0 at half time. And uh, yes, guys, anyway, I'm going to talk about a few players today. And uh, the player is uh, Chalaba, because I, I, honestly, I absolutely love this player at the minute. He's controlling the midfield, and I think he's doing so well for the club. And when I've looked at him, he, um, he was been doing so well. But uh, there we go, guys. Emnes picked up a bit of an injury there. That's why I put it in. But uh, speaking about Chalaba, he's been controlling the midfield a hell of a lot. And his defensive midfielder has been doing fantastically well. And I've been so impressed with him. And, uh, you know, if, if he carries on playing the way he is, he'll be playing every week, week in, week out. And uh, although, and he's been keeping the uh, likes of Richard Chaplow and Duba Badia out of a uh, contest because he's been playing so well. And he's, uh, I've been super impressed with Chalaba. And, uh, you know, I think he deserves to be in his squad. And his potential rating has got to be in, in at least the 80s because... Uh, he's 72 overall in a minute and his potential is so high. But uh, Man City did get the 1-0 win over us, guys. And uh, Ed Marvin Emmons is out for three weeks, which is a bit of a shame because I really, really wanted uh, him to do well for the club. And uh, But the good thing is uh, Almback has signed, uh, wanting, is wanting to sign and hopefully. Um, and also that's a really, really good move as well for transfer times. And hopefully, if we get him, uh, it'll be a good, good signing, especially with a back line, because it'll be a good partnership with Lees, especially. And uh, Mustafi and Pierce are going to have to keep up their, uh, well, place in the team. But uh, as you just saw there, guys, the contract offer was rejected. I think it's because he's enjoying where he's playing. But I'm going to I'm going to boost that up to around uh, 6k. And we're going to put it as a crucial player, but I did decide to make it 7k because I thought if it just to make him make sure he comes, make sure he's a crucial first team player and a four year contract. And obviously, he will accept that, and that is a big, big boost uh, to his wage as well. I mean, he's getting 3k more than what he was getting at his old club, so obviously, he's going to come to the club. And uh, also, because I did accept the island job, um, also that they were saying about the um. The submission date for the team, so that's coming up very soon. And our next game is against West Brom. And also now I'm going to talk about another player that does really what has been doing so well, and that is Lee Peltier. And I've been playing him left back recently because AD White is not has been rejecting all t contract talks. And there we are, guys. Bitten court goes and gets a goal there. The new signing, and I thought I'd give him a chance in this game. And God, by God, guys, he played so well in this game. And um, he, uh, he kept us in the game as well. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep uh, keep going anyway with his comments. Little commentary. And Chris Woody uh, going creating some space for himself. Has a bit of space to shoot. Deflection, and it goes into the back of the net. And Chris Wood gets another goal to his tally, which is already in double figures. And lovely bit of play there from West Brom. But they just could not get it into the back of the net there. And uh, yeah, but Lee Pelty has been proving his game. 
um, very, very well at the moment. I mean, he's been trying, he's been getting into the squad week in, week out, and he's been performing every time, guys, and I cannot, when he's performing every time, I've just got to put him into the squad, and, uh, you know, I'm probably going to get a new left back, and view, I think you, a few of you have already been putting in the comment section below, saying uh, which left backs I should buy, and stuff, but, uh, you know, if you guys keep it up and stuff, and you're leaving the comment section, I'll put them on the uh, screen, of course, and, uh, of course, that, and you have obviously get part of the video, so, if you guys keep doing it, I'll, I'll be sure to put the comments on the screen and stuff for you, so keep it up, guys, but, uh, the West Brom did get a goal back, um, on the 38th minute, but, uh, we were going to try and get another goal, and, uh, as you, uh, and Bitten caught causing problems, puts in a great ball for Chris Wood, and uh, honestly, the first half, it was all Bittencourt creating all the chances and was playing so, so well. And really, really, really impressed by him there. And, um, you know, we were leading 2-1 just before half-time. And then McCormack plays a lovely little through ball to Chris Wood, but what a save from Ben Foster there. And, uh, you know, and we just got a chance here on a free kick. McCormack, whose free kicks have been excellent. And uh, just very, very, Ben Foster made it look a bit simple. But his free kicks are actually really good for his stats, uh, his stats show. And uh, then we were trying to create some more chances just to try and get that 3-1 lead to make sure we've got the game in the bag. And uh, Chris Wood plays a lovely through ball to McCormack. McCormack's got pace on him and he'll shoot and he'll score. And uh, really well played there. And actually played Bittencourt uh, on the wing this game, guys. He's a centre attacking mid, but he, he, is, he actually played really well on the wing. And I was super impressed by him uh, on the wing. So, he can act, it, so he's, because uh, he's obviously we do have um, Emnez injured at the moment. So he's actually a, a good player to play on the wing at the moment. So uh, we did get a 3-1 lead and uh, they did come close there. But uh, McCarthy made the save look very, very simple. And obviously we get a nice 3-1 win and a sexual 3 points. And obviously that is the main point of the game. And uh, you know, a transfer deadline is now here. And there is one player who I'm really wanting to get rid of. And that is obviously Richard Chapler. And an offer finally came in of 925k. And I was so surprised. It came from QPR, but QPR obviously loaded with money. And I was really surprised they wanted him, and obviously he went. So that was so impressive, and uh, I'm really pleased now Richard Chapler has gone. And because when you, I've been trying to get rid of Chip Richard Chapler for a long time, and obviously now our next game is against Birmingham in the FA Cup. And if you remember, guys, playoff semi final, it was draw, but we won on penalties, and we are coming up against Juf. So, guys, can we get 15 likes on this video? And uh, yes. This has been your boy, V-Boy, give it to the T, and I will see you guys later.